um, but we have put the historic set aside into deficit uh, I, by not funding it one time. I don't know. It just slipped through. You know, my bad. Um, so uh, <clears throat> I think we should put an article in the town meeting warrant uh, bringing it up to the level at least even, right? I mean, it's going to get the, the 40, what did we say, 42,000 that all the set asides are going to get, um, but that will still leave it in deficit. So what do people think? Should we put in the 53,000 53, so it's at zero uh, and then put in the 42,000? Or should we just put in uh, 53,000 instead of 42, so it's so it's at zero and it's not below. What do people think? Andy, can, do we have the ability to um, put the money in so that we don't have set-asides? Mm, I'm, I'm not sure I understand the question. I nope, we're still echoing. Edwin and I are echoing. You're just too close together. Yeah. Can can he hear you? Can you turn his volume down, one of you right. on, on the speaker side. That's what I meant. Was it 42,000 or 43,000, Andy, that we voted? I, I, I don't remember the exact amount. <clears throat> Should I look that up? I'm looking at the warrant now. Oh, the warrant is out? Well, copy it, it is, I guess. I get it on a regular basis. Okay. I can, well, I can forward what I have. I got an email from David Nixon saying that um, the town attorney made some editorial changes to our warrant articles, and I'd be interested in seeing them. All right, so. So what was your question, Paulette? Hang on, I'm going to. No. Yeah. Just keep going. Let me figure this out. <laughs> All right. Can you type it in the chat? All right. How's, nope, that's still. So, so unless somebody has a third option, I think our two best options are to sort of put two, two amounts into the historical set aside, the one we've already agreed to, and then it's the second one, which we forgot, uh, or just put in enough money, the one we agreed to, and then just enough to bring historical up to zero. So it's not in deficit. So See what, what we have, I can tell you what they listed on the um, warrant article, what David Nixon proposed. He proposed putting 43380 in open space the same amount in housing, and then the historic, um, he proposed 96,572. Okay, so that, so he chose option number one, mm -hmm. which is essentially to put it's in- all in one article. Right, two amounts. But I thought we needed to talk about it. I mean, it's not really his decision. No, so but I think we, we ought to make it as easy as possible for town meeting. Yeah, okay. So you're agreeing with how the Warren article, uh, Amy, you're agreeing with how it's currently worded? Yeah, I think it looks okay. As long as the, the numbers are okay. I mean, as long as that's the, exa the exact right number, then yeah. What number was it? The 96? It's 96572. Yeah. That'll give us 95 cents extra. <laughs> yeah. Hope they don't spend it all in one place. 
So we'll basically be putting the 53 in and the 43 and then taking it out um, probably with what's proposed. Right. Uh, any other opinions? I concur. Okay. I'm trying not to echo. That's all right. That was reasonable. Okay, so then I propose that we take no action and just leave that Warren article the way it is. Right. Okay, and hearing no objection, we'll go on. All right. Uh, another oversight I made was forgetting to fund the uh, administrative fund. Um, so we should do that. Usually we've been doing $2,000 a year uh, and our expenses essentially are zero. Um, but I did get an idea about possibly getting a, um, an intern from the, you know, the government studies program at UMass. And I would like to, you know, pay the intern like maybe a thousand dollars stipend or something like that. So I wanted to give people's opinions whether you support that or not support that, whether you think we should just fund the two thousand or put in the thousand extra. So what do people think? Andy, is there another possibility that the uh, Pioneer Valley Planning Commission has somebody that would be dedicated to the uh, CPA. Uh, this is the way their planning department started. Somebody who was specialized in zoning would farm themselves out to the small community like ours and uh, give us the technical assistance at minimal cost. Whereas the good part about the intern is someone is learning the ropes about how government really does work but it's gonna take a lot of babysitting. I remember I had one of the CETA workers when I was chairman of the planning board and there is a lot of babysitting and it would unfortunately probably fall upon your shoulders. Hmm. Um, so I, I, I would put the money in and, and then explore the internship later and perhaps we can utilize it through Pioneer Valley or, or some part-time person or we'll make it that decision later okay what do people think they think the, the planning commission is a better way to go i think it's more it's going to be more expensive if you use the planning commission if we use the umass it's going to be cheaper and we, if we use it for one year if we don't like what we get we don't go back Okay, thank you. Who, uh, who else? Well, I just, you know, what are we trying to accomplish with this money? Are we bringing in somebody to help do clerical work? Or are we bringing in a professional for uh, consultation? Well, obviously, if it's an intern, they'll do things like filing and internet posting and, uh, you know, simple things like that. If it's an actual planner, uh, as Dr. Zagronik suggested, we can have them do some actual work. Uh, but, but I hadn't considered it, so I, I don't really know. Andy's point is a good one. In other words, there's going to be another proposal from the planning board that perhaps we're going to be looking into a planner as been proposed by David Nixon more than anyone else. But uh, having a conversation with Paulette the other day, this potential planner would not be busy enough with, with just the planning board stuff. Perhaps this potential planner could work for CPA, conservation, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, could be an ombudsman, so to speak. Uh, so I would keep the door open as to the possibilities and just find out maybe the new people on board will be enthusiastic and take the bull by the horns and really put a lot of hours into it. But uh, it, it would be nice to have one person on all the committees. You know, that could be very helpful. Uh, so what do some other people think? I think another possibility could be right now, if you needed something, they do have that seniors uh, work off program available. 
as a possibility. I hadn't thought of that. That that wouldn't really add a whole lot to our budget. But the thing is, I think that I like the fact of down the road looking at it as Jennifer does a lot of work for select board. If we had the planner, they could do all the departments. I liked that idea, but that's not something for today. Yeah, I think if we um, if we had a planner and we were able to have them staff multiple boards, that would be great. Um, Pioneer Valley, I mean, we could, but I'm sure it's going to cost more than a couple grand for them to staff us for the year. Right, right. So I I might propose that you put in some funding in there so that we would be able to look at our options over the year. Okay. That was reasonable. Yeah. Any, any other opinions? Okay, so what I'm hearing is that we should go the Pioneer Vanny, the Pioneer Planning Commission route. Uh, it's more expensive, but probably more helpful. Um, if people are in favor of it, I can write a letter to David Nixon saying that the CPA uh, committee is willing to use administrative fund money to pay for the CPA share of the planner's extra work. Uh, but make it clear that we're not paying for all the other committees. Uh, I don't think you can do that. You can't? They would have to send separate bills for CPA versus planning versus ZBA or anything else. Because otherwise it will get grouped into one bill sent to the CPA and it will be for us to try and figure out who's whose money is whose, because that happened previously when we had um, the or we had our language for the warrant go to the law office and they tried to get us to pay for the entire bill. Right. I'm sorry if I'm, Mike, Paul, uh, go ahead, Joe. No, Paulette is correct because we've had some disputes about working with the Pioneer Valley and how much of the funding is ours, how much is, other boards, et cetera, et cetera. The other question I had is I was under the impression that when we had talked about uh, help in the past, uh, part of which was some, a lot of it was clerical to start to get uh, arms around and collect all the projects and get all the information together. And I'm not sure if what we intend to accomplish out of the box, if, if part of it is just Getting our, getting our accounting straight, getting our information all together, getting all the projects in one spot, getting the listing of, of everything. I know that a lot of that work has been done, but I was under the impression that it still needed some polishing. And um, you know, would we wanna pay a planner to do that type of thing for us? Um, or do we wanna start off by getting our house in order and then looking at um, a higher level skill down the road? I agree, Andy. Yeah, me too. Maybe I should do some more exploration and we should come back to this in six months. Yeah, I think we can put money in the administration account, but not say what it's going to be used for. Okay. I, I agree with that. Okay, I'm sorry. Who was that who just spoke? I, it was Amy. I, I, okay. I agree. If you want to put some money in a fund, you know, just put on the set aside, but I don't think we ought to uh, say anything right now into the fall. Right now, everything is really tight and we're cutting all kinds of things and, and to spend any extra money at this point, you, you, we don't want to have to talk about that at town meeting or anywhere else. I agree. The optics probably wouldn't be great right now. <clears throat> okay. Don't reuse a phrase. Point taken. All right, uh, any other opinions? No, what, uh, we saw, what are we going to be putting into the administrative account? Okay, that was my next question. 
Usually we do 2,000. But you said we don't spend the 2,000, right? Uh, so I, I, you at the 2,000 or? I don't think last year we spent anything. So maybe leave it at 2,000 and put more in November if need be, perhaps, or? Yeah, the, the other question is, I have some recollection of if you don't spend the money in the fiscal year, it goes back to general fund automatically. Yes. So that is what happens. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes it a little easier. So I I would recommend doing like five thousand, and then because we know it's going to go back, that way we don't have to go through another town meeting if we choose to go with Pioneer Valley, or we may be able to use an intern and Pioneer Valley. Okay. Is that a motion? Sorry. Is that a motion? That seems kind of like a lot. Right now it's on the, uh, you know, what they were looking, what, what was recommended. And, and I know it's just, it's just what I'm looking at and the warrant and it's not, it's up to us what we decide, but it's on there for 3000. Right. Currently. Right. Well, you know, David asked me, oh, you, you forgot to do this. How much did we put in? And, you know, I was willing to overlook one mistake that I made. But when we got to three or four mistakes, I said, no, we have to have a meeting. We have to discuss it. Uh, I don't want you to get stressed over this one bit, OK? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm not stressed out. I just want to you know, do things by the book. Right. You know, I mean, David is happy to make all the decisions. <laughs> but I am not happy having him make all the decisions. Right. Uh, I'll make a motion to put 5000 in the admin fund to before town meeting. Okay, do we hear a second? I'll second. Okay, you should just say who you are. Andy Klebacki. Yep. Okay. All right, if there's no further discussion, we have a, a vote. How do we do this? Put your hand up. Hand up? <laughs> oh, so, so now I have to have everybody. All right, so that was unanimous. Go yep. to gallery view. Yep. Okay. Right. Headley Media doesn't get to vote. Nope. Okay, thank you, everybody. <laughs> Um, okay, so <clears throat> expanded use of CPA funds during the COVID crisis. Um, in that email I got from David Nixon was um, uh, a line or two, I think I sent it out to everybody. I hope I did. Yeah. Yeah, I've been occupied. <clears throat> um, that, uh, you know, his emails, he's a little unclear about whose idea it actually is. Uh, it was either Christian's idea or David, uh, David's idea, David Phil's idea, that we should use CPA money to help jumpstart the local economy. And I was like, whoa. No. <laughs> um, but I told him I'd look into it, you know? Um, and basically, the, the only thing the CPA Coalition and Joe Comerford's office suggested is that you can use it to subsidize rent for people who were, you know, out of work. Um, so we should talk about it. Is that something people are interested in using CPA money for? No. You're talking in general, or you're just talking specifically for for helping somebody out with the rent? Right. Well, right now I'm talking specific help based on the coalition's um, guidance due to the COVID crisis. <clears throat> it's not allowed. I mean, the letter that you sent to us, thank you for sharing, uh, said many towns are asking the same question and it's strictly forbidden. Right, well, except for this one possible exception. Well, right. into that one possibility is that on the there's going to be affordable housing trust fund that will be on the warrant article, and that is giving the ability uh, for monies to be put into a fund and have a committee that will be able to dole out this money, whether it's for uh, repairing something or uh, you know in in a 40B housing presently to rehab a housing that could be used for affordable housing. So I think there is something in the works already. So for us to say that you can use the CPA money for a project, uh, 
think you're jumping the gun a little bit, but the Affordable Housing Trust Fund will give you the conduit to do all of that. And we have the money and the set aside to do something like that. So you don't have to say not completely, but it is in the works. Okay. Uh, other opinions? Don't we normally host applications? Uh, oh, one line in an email. That's all I know. Um, I don't agree with using the funds or saying we can give it to the town for anything. I think the law is pretty clear. You're right. Um, that it's not allowed. And unless there's a project before us being proposed, that it is not a open um, well that they can just draw from. Well, I think we all agree with that. Yeah. Correct. Uh, anyone else? I think it's probably a very complicated thing. My understanding is it's for affordable housing for rent. Uh, to help people with rent. It's not for if you can't make your mortgage payment. So it, there is so much detail to it. I think that it's gonna, it would be a big, huge project. I don't think it's something we can take on. I think if anything and someone does need help, I think Joe has the better solution of going to the Affordable Housing Trust rather than the CPA. I agree. I might add that Amy speaks with some authority because she is on one of those boards and it's a very, very complicated issue. Mm. I agree too. I agree. Okay. Um, so now I have a pretty big ask, which is uh, under normal circumstances, I would be happy to work with the select board work fight <laughs> with the select board about this particular issue but uh, for the next few weeks, I'm just not gonna be up to it. So would somebody like to be the liaison with them and sort of express our feelings about their latest idea of how to use CPA money? I would have no problem with it. I've been talking to Dave and Phil on a regular basis because we've been going down, it, it's, we st we're spending a lot of time with the select board going over line item after line item, just trying to figure out how we're going to get through the budget. I don't have a problem though with um, sticking up for CPA. I've been doing it all along. Yes, yes, you have. Mm -hmm. So somebody else, please. No. Do you need more than one person? No. I, I think Amy's got it down. And since she's been working with them already and she kind of stepped forward, <laughs> I think she would be a good person to be able to present that. And I think if the select board wants something with the CPA, they need to submit an application detailing how it meets the criteria. It's not just, hey, give us a pot of money. I, I, I can't see that because there won't be accountability as to what the funds are used for, how it's going to be spent. And I really think that we need to make sure that an application comes forth and we can actually check the boxes and say, yes, this meets the criteria so we can legally move it forward to the town meeting. Paul, it is absolutely correct. It seems to be somebody handing out some misconception that this, there's this pile of money there and we can use it for anything we want. It's earmarked for things and you have to propose it in a logical fashion, like you said. Yeah, and, I, and it was the uh, point early on is if we have no application, I mean, we're, we have guidelines in which we can approve the spending of this money and, and uh, I'm not sure how, um, you know, hey, kickstart the economy, it's under those guidelines. Um, I don't well, think it does at all. Uh, well, I, I think we agree that it yet yeah, that it does not meet the guidelines based on the one sentence description they sent me. 
uh, I can tell them that. Um, or I could say, well, send us a proposal. I would rather tell them, no, this idea is not going to work before they do the proposal. That's what they seem to be the most upset about, that they do all this work on the proposals and then they get rejected. Um, uh, I would just tell them no. Uh, tell them no. And if you give them, if you make it sound like you're going to work with them, then they're, they're going to try to use this money to balance the budget. I, I think you just have to say no. And if you want something for a project, you have to put in an application. Okay. And if they don't want it to get rejected, they need to come before the board and spend some time with us. Not... <laughs> at the 11th hour. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll send him a note, you know, saying that, you know, that we, uh, that there wasn't a lot of details, but based on the information they've given us, this is not an approved use of CPA funds for economic stimulus. Uh, and that, um, uh, you know, when the housing, uh, not the housing commission, you know, when the, when the new committee is formed, you know, we'll be willing to work for them if they make a proposal for something that's approved use. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, would you like me to circulate the note before I send it or should I just send it? Just send it. Just send it, okay. All right, thank you everybody. Uh, just has me makes me feel better. It makes it easier for me to say, you know, we had the discussion, and this is what the committee, you know, decided. Terrific. Um, okay. Uh, moving on, uh, return of funds from the cemetery committee. Um, this is not the most recent uh, funded project. These are money from the previous projects which have been completed. Uh, and it's, it's several thousand dollars. Um, and again, we have two choices. We can either uh, put an article in the consent agenda to return the money immediately, or we can wait for the two years to run out, which is pretty soon. It's and then the money will transfer back automatically, assuming that it actually happens. I think it uh, would be good to go put it in the consent agenda because they, uh, they'll actually get a little press for returning money. And I think a lot of people will appreciate the fact that they didn't spend every last penny. So the there's $10,013 left in the Hockenham Cemetery and then $1,107 left in the study of the cemeteries. And that's those projects are done. And they, they were October 2018. So they'd automatically go back October 2020. But um, one thing, if we returned, if this was returned now and with the 43,000, that historic account would be above zero um, without having to do the 53,000. But um, I, I think it is nice, you're right, to, to say here it's coming back. Um, and the reason it's 10,000 seems like a lot, but the first proposal, the first proposal was that high. And then when it was put out for bid, there some bids came in quite a bit lower. Um, so that's well, why it was left over. Well, I think Joe would agree that's a nice change that uh, money's actually coming back instead of coming, instead of a return visit for uh, additional funds. Well, we haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it, it's funny with CPA projects, sometimes the town passes them yet they never get started. You know, uh, sometimes money is supposed to be returned, but it doesn't get back to us. You know, this is just how things are, I guess. So I guess with a vote, it's just like another little push, you know, just, just to make it happen. Um, this, is the only, this is the only funds from October, 2018, except for the two that we voted to extend. So there's nothing else coming due. Um, right coming back till next May. Yeah. 
Um, remind me, who's the historic commission representative? Do you think the historic commission could uh, have a vote saying that you, they're the ones who got the, no, was it the cemetery commission who got the money? Committee. It was the cemetery committee. The cemetery committee, which I'm on. Oh, you are. Okay, do you think they could have a vote? Like yeah. They don't have to vote, but just saying that, um, you know, we're glad to return the money and. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I talked to Alan Weinberg, he's chair about it. And yeah, I spoke to him too. Originally I said you didn't have to vote, but I think it'll just, it's just nice. Okay, I'll email him and hopefully we could do a Zoom or conference call. All right, okay. Um, so then uh, I need a motion to put a, war on a line in the consent agenda for the return of the of that money, it's two different it's two different CPA projects. One is the Hockenham Cemetery, and the other is the study of the other cemeteries in the town. Okay, you know um, what? I better write this down. Um, can you tell me what the numbers are again, Mary? Tenth on the Hockenham Cemetery, what the balance in that project is ten thousand thirteen dollars and seventy cents. Okay, thousand. Ten thousand thirteen dollars and seventy cents. Seventy cents, yeah. And then the study of the cemeteries, which were the other cemeteries in town, mm -hmm. is the extra is one thousand one hundred and seven point five zero. So, okay. those two line items should be put. It should be in the consent. And they go back to the historical office. That's where they come from. Yeah, it should go back to historical. Yeah. And then that way gives the historical the money that hasn't been spent out of that. And we would be able, you put it in writing that this money needs to go back to the historic. And then that way it just doesn't magically disappear somewhere or get to another line item somewhere. Doesn't return money go back to the general fund? It goes back to the budget it came from. Right. You're sure of that? It, yes. It's in the warrant. Um, I, I read through the old warrants and they it specifically was like, if it was not spent, it goes back to the historic bucket uh, offset or the open space or the okay. general. Right, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, okay. I'm sorry, did we, did we somebody make a motion about that? I'll make the motion since I'm on the cemetery committee that we return the, that we have on the, a warrant to return the $10,013.70 balance in the, from the Hockenham Cemetery to the historic um, offset. And that we return the $1,107.50 from the study of the cemeteries back to the historic offset. I'll second that. Okay, any uh, further discussions? No? All right, raise your hands if you approve. That's unanimous. Okay, we all like unanimity. All right, uh, another thing I forgot to do is the extension of the Town Hall Pillars Project. Uh, is that something we want to extend? Now, I wanted I wanted to extend it last round, but David Nixon said, "Oh, don't extend it; it'll pressure them to use the money." But it didn't work because they still haven't started it. So, what do people think? Should we extend it, or should we just let it fold? Didn't I would say e extend it because you know, first of all, they came in; they wanted to repaint the whole town hall again for. Boku dollars, and this was kind of a compromise worked out. And uh, I think uh, perhaps they'll they'll go ahead and do it now. I agree with the extension. I mean, it's it's tough when things get voted in and uh, and they miss the building season. That is going to be an extensive project. It would have been nice to actually knock this out while nobody's in town hall. But mm -hmm. there's the lead abatement, uh, lead paint abatement issue uh, concern there, and it is the fluting on the columns. And if you look close, I mean, some of those uh, are the, the, the caulking that was covering up some past seams is starting to go. So I, I'd sure hate to try to 
uh, do a massive, you know, try to replicate what they've got up there. So let's catch it before it, it uh, gets too far away. And, you know, we're coming into another building season. So hopefully uh, they can get a, a better crack at it. You know, when it, be, having been on the building committee, if you get those spring uh, votes, sometimes by the time you go looking for a contractor in June, they're already committed for the rest of the, uh, the building season. So uh, that year can get away from you fast. So I, I again, mo uh, would support extending it. I agree. Didn't we vote for extending that and extending the Hopkins Fields like at the first meeting a couple, like whatever months ago it was? Uh, I think we voted for the fields, but I think we forgot about the, the pillars. We t I remember the discussion, yeah. Uh, well, you know, my memory is not what it used to be. Did other people remember us doing that? If mm. it was the July, August stuff, I wasn't, I was MIA because of my hand. No, it was the, it was the first meeting in like February, March. The one that got postponed from February into March was the, mm, all right, that meeting. Well, I don't know. That's fine. I, you know, I do remember a discussion about it, but we can certainly vote again. Yeah, it won't hurt to put it in. Okay. So. Sorry about the, the phone. Um, any other opinions? No. No, Denise, you've been very quiet. I'm good. All right, so do we need a motion for that? We need a motion for that. All right. Anyone? All right, I'll make a motion to uh, extend the Town Hall Pillars project um, for another two years. Okay, is there a second? Second that. Okay, any further discussions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Unanimous. Nope. Diane, did you vote yes? I did. No yep. Question. Okay. So that's also unanimous. Good. Uh, I have a question on the last one that we voted on. Uh, the, since we did change, uh, decide to move that money back from the cemetery, are you going to change, are we going to change the number at all that you're going to want? for the, what's going in the historic from the 90, what did I say, 95,000? Did you want to change that number at all? Well, we could, but we also don't have to. Okay. Yeah. I, I think we should just leave the money there, let okay. it come back in, only because if it got returned and we had done that funding previously, it would have added that money back into that account anyways. Right, right. It'd only be a $42,000 deficit instead. We used it fast enough. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? We used it, we used the historic often enough, so I don't think it's an issue. I mean, we use it, it's not like it's the housing where the money gets put in a, and we have extra money that we don't want there. The historic and the open space seem to go quickly. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, they're, they're worthy projects, so mm -hmm. I think it's okay, okay to fund them. Um, Do you have the breakdown of how, what's going to, of the proposed projects, how much is going to be from the open space and from the historic and the general or? I do is that not, on the warrant. I have not figured that out yet. No. Um, hopefully, I'll sit down with the numbers you sent and the things we decided, and I'll have that before the town meeting preview. And I don't know if it's feasible just to make sure that we clean this up if we have mistakes in the past or in the future, where we could say remove money from this account, and if there is not sufficient funds, then the remainder would come from the general account. I don't know that's if we need to be that specific. That's kind of how we did it. Okay. Um, but, you know, being specific isn't bad if you can handle it. It's just that with the new town accountant, there was no way to find out how much money it was in each of the set-asides. So there was no way to know. Mm -hmm. 
so we kind of just fudged it basically not the most comfortable but better than nothing and it's all it's all coming from the cpa funds it didn't change the total it didn't you know right right what do they say no change in the tax rate right so like that makes a difference um okay um so meeting minutes last meeting we talked about uh paulette and mary sort of swapping the uh um the meeting minutes uh you guys still want to do that i totally defer to paulette i'd be glad to do that or i'd be glad to cover if she's not able to make a meeting yeah i mean i don't mind doing them and it's nice to have someone you know to cover if i can't be there so well i think it's the more we share the load of the work mm -hmm. the better the committee operates so let's just say for next meeting uh mary you'll take the minutes okay 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 Paula, you seem to be taking the minutes this meeting yeah so that's fine um uh also remind me if i forget to send you the recording link and then that really helps you to do the minutes yeah which i hope john set up because i forgot to do it <laughs> um all right and um Let's see, uh, anyone else have any other topics or issues that they want to discuss? No, with those glasses though, Andy, uh, you could be a, a double for our representative McGovern. <laughs> I'm much better looking than he is. <laughs> Welcome uh, back. Uh, I, I want to thank the new members uh, for participating. Uh, Andy, is this going to be your last meeting with us? At this point, really, yeah. Well, I really want to thank you for your participation and your guidance. I feel that you really added a lot to the committee, um, especially as a, a liaison to Park and Rec and people in general. A lot of people have told me that they've spoken to you about the committee and you've explained a lot of things to them, and I, I really do appreciate it. And we're gonna we're gonna miss your participation. So so thank you. Um, yeah. uh, uh, I guess that's it. Move, we adjourn. Right? Okay, second? I'll second. <laughs> yeah. All right, all in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. All right, good night, everybody. Thank, Thank you very much. Aye.